हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर चैप्टर सेवन कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री एंड डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सेक्शन फॉर्मूला नाउ इफ आई कंसीडर अ लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी एंड आई नीड टू डिवाइड दिस लाइन सेगमेंट इंटू टू पार्ट सो I can take a point here. This can be a point D. So it is not necessary that the point D will divide the line segment AB into two equal parts. So they may be equal or they may not be equal. So the ratio in which the point divides the given line segment can be found if we know the coordinates of that point. Suppose the line segment ab is divided in the ratio m is to n and i need to find out the coordinate of the point d so i can find it out also it is possible to find the point of division if we know the ratio in which the line segment joining two points has given if i know the point i can find out the ratio or if i know the ratio in which the line segment is divided i can find out the point d so this is only possible with the help of section formula so section formula is used to determine the coordinate of a point that divides a line segment joining two points into two parts such that the ratio of their length is m is to n now let a and b be the given two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 so what we have to do just plot these two points in a plane which is a coordinate plane so a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 now consider a point p which is x comma y the point p is dividing the line segment ab internally in the ratio m is to n so this is the ratio m is to n so the section formula for determining the coordinates of point p which is x y is given by m x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n so you will get the value of x for y what you have to do consider the y coordinates m y2 plus n y1 divided by the ratio which is m plus n so this is the section formula now we will discuss how you will derive this formula so again we have to consider two points let p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 be two points in the xy plane so here is point p here is point q and we have taken a point m which is x y be the point which divides the line segment p q internally in the ratio m is to n now what we need to do we will consider these three parallel lines parallel to y axis which is p a m n and qr so pa mn and qr are drawn perpendicular to x axis and ps and mb ps and mb are drawn parallel to x axis this is ps this is mb now as you can see this angle m p s and q m b these are corresponding angles so they are equal also angle msp is 90 degree and qbm is also 90 degree so both the angles are of 90 degree so by aa similarity what you will get triangle pms and triangle mqb this triangle and 
this triangle both are similar so what will the ratio of their sides pm pm upon mq will be equal to ps upon mb also this is equal to ms upon qb and i know that pm is m and mq is n so all the ratio of these sides will be equal to m upon n mark this equation as 1 now i need to find the value of ps and mb ms and qb how you will find the value now ps is what what is ps o n minus o a now what is o n total is x and what is o a this is x 1 so you will get ps as x minus x 1 now how you will find the value of m b m b is what m b the total is x 2 and this is what is this x so how you will get m b as m b is parallel to n r so you will get x 2 minus x so now you will find the value of m s what is m s m n m n minus s n you will get y minus y 1 for q b it is q b it is q r total minus this what will you get y 2 minus y now you have all the values with you you have to simply substitute the values you will get m upon n is x minus x 1 upon x 2 minus x is equal to y minus y 1 upon y 2 minus y. Now first you will consider this what will you get solve it for x you will get m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n. Now if you solve for y you have to consider this equation y minus y 1 upon y 2 minus y solve for y you will get m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n. So the coordinates of point m which divides the line segment joining points p x 1 y 1 q x 2 y 2 internally in the ratio m is to n r m x 2 plus n x 1 divided by m plus n and m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by m plus n. So, this is known as the section formula. Now, the coordinates of the point A x y which divides the line segment joining the points P x 1 y 1 and Q x 2 y 2 internally in the ratio m 1 is to m 2 means I have two points P x 1 y 1 and Q x 2 y 2 and there is a point which divides this line segment in the ratio m 1 is to m 2. So, this point which is a x y can be find out by using the section formula as m 1 x 2 plus m 2 x 1 divided by the ratio which is m 1 plus m 2 and for y what will you do m 1 y 2 plus m 2 y 1 divided by the sum of the ratios which is m 1 plus m 2. You have to simply replace the section formula the value of m is to n which is the ratio by m 1 and 
m2 you will get this formula now if the point m divides the line segment joining points p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 internally in the ratio k is to 1 now instead of m1 m2 now i have taken k is to 1 so what will you do first we have defined the section formula for the ratio m is to n then we have replaced m by m1 and n by m2 now it becomes k is to 1 so what will you do instead of m or m1 you will write k and instead of n or m2 you will write 1 so just replace m1 by k and m2 by 1 you will get k into x2 plus 1 into x1 divided by the sum of the ratios which is k plus 1 and for y coordinate k into y2 plus replace m2 by 1 1 into y1 divided by sum of the ra ratios which is k plus 1 now let us understand this with the help of an example find the coordinates of a point which divides the line segment joining the point 4 6 and minus 5 minus 4 internally in the ratio 3 is to 2 means what I have a point 4 comma 6 and another point minus 5 comma minus 4 and this is divided let some point by x comma y in the ratio 3 is to 2. So, here x1 y1 will be 4 6 and x2 y2 will be minus 5 minus 4 and the ratio is given as 3 is to 2. So, by using section formula can you find this point? Yes, we can. How? The section formula says suppose this is m1, m2, this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. Now according to section formula we have mx2 plus nx1 or we can say m2 x1 plus m1 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 and for y we have m2 y1 plus m1 y2 divided by m1 plus m2. Now simply substitute the values for this what will you get 3 into minus 5 plus 2 into 4 divided by 3 plus 2 and for y 3 into minus 4 plus 2 into 6 divided by 3 plus 2. After solving you will get minus 15 plus 8 in the numerator and in the denominator you will get 5 and for y in the numerator you will get minus 12 plus 12 and in the denominator 5. So, the value of x will be minus 7 by 5 and the value of y will be 0. So, the point p x comma y will be minus 7 by 5 0. Let us discuss few questions of exercise 7.2. Question number 2 find the coordinates of the points of trisection of the line segment joining 4 minus 1 and minus 2 minus 3. For this we need to consider two points P and Q. Now point A is given as 4 minus 1 and point B is given as minus 2 minus 3. Now let P and Q are the points of trisection of the line segment joining the given points. 
So, the line segment AB is divided into three equal parts AP, PQ and QB. We need to find out the coordinates of the point P and Q. Suppose these three are equal. So, if I will not consider this point, I have to find the value of P which is x1, y1 first. So, this is 1. Since this is divided into two equal parts, so I will take this as 2. So, the ratio will become 1 is to 2. Now, I can apply section formula to find the coordinates of point P which is x1, y1. How you will find out? See, 1 into minus 2 plus 2 into 4 divided by the sum of the ratios which is 1 plus 2, 3. Now, if, if you solve, you will get minus 2 plus 8 in the numerator divided by 3. You will get the value of x1 as 2. For y1, what will you do? 1 into minus 3 plus 2 into minus 1 divided by the sum of the ratios which is 1 plus 2, you will get 3 in the denominator. So, minus 3 minus 2 in the numerator after solving, what will you get? Minus 5 by 3. So, the coordinates of point P which is x1, y1 will be 2 minus 5 divided by 3. For the point Q, what will you do? Now, you will not consider this point. See, this part is 1 and this is divided by P into 2 equal parts. So, this will be 2. So, then now the ratio will become 2 is to 1. How you will find the coordinates of Q? x2, y2. Now, for point Q divides AB internally in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, for x2, what will you get? 2 into minus 2 plus 1 into 4 divided by the sum of the ratios which is 2 plus 1. What will you get after solving? Minus 4 plus 4 in the numerator divided by 3 you will get 0. For value of y2, what, how you will calculate it? 2 into minus 3 plus 1 into minus 1 divided by the sum of the ratios which is 2 plus 1. After solving what will you get? Minus 6 minus 1 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. So, you will get minus 7 by 3. So, the coordinates of the point Q will be 0 minus 7 by 3. Now, we will discuss another question of this exercise, question number 4. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3, 10 and 6 minus 8 is divided by minus 1, 6. We need to find out the ratio and the point of division is given. So, we will consider the ratio as k is to 1. So, we have two points given as minus 3, 10 and b as 6 comma minus a and the point which is x comma y is given as minus 1 comma 6. And we need to find out the ratio which I have considered as k is to 1. So, apply the section formula for x how you will find out x k into 6 plus 1 into minus 3 divided by sum of the ratios which is k plus 1. So, what will you get? 
6 k minus 3 divided by k plus 1. And you know what is x? x is given as minus 1. So, simply substitute x as minus 1, you will get this equation. You have to solve for k. How you will get? Just simply solve it, you will get the value of k as 2 by 7. As you have considered the ratio as k is to 1, this is 2 by 7 is to 1. What will you get? 2 is to 7. So, the ratio is 2 is to 7. Now, these are the questions for your homework. Question number 1, find the coordinates of the points which divide the line segment joining A minus 2, 2 and B, 2, 8 into 4 equal parts. Question number 2, find the area of a rhombus if its vertices are 3, 0, 4, 5, minus 1, 4, minus 2, minus 1 taken in order. For this, I have given a hint to simply find the area of rhombus as half into product of its diagonal. So, simply find the length of the diagonals, you will get the answer. Third, find the coordinates of a point A where AB is the diameter of a circle whose center is 2 minus 3 and B is given as 1, 4. Let us quickly recapitulate what we have discussed today. Let P and Q be the given two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively and M be the point dividing the line segment PQ internally in the ratio m is to n, then the section formula for determining the coordinates of a point m is given by m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n and m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n. And if the ratio is m1 is to m2, then the formula becomes m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 and m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. I hope you have understood the concept taught today which is section formula very well. Thank you.